sure. Alongside a bayou is an unusual place for a surgical procedure. Okay, so I'm gonna make an incision. Unless it's for a pretty unusual patient. Okay. That patient is a kind of fish more than 300 million years old, a paddlefish. Go ahead and give him some uh, anesthetic. The surgeon is Mike Montaigne with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And this operation is about bringing these fish back to these waters. They're one of the most ancient fishes and species that we have on the planet. They don't look like any other fish, and they're super cool. Paddlefish are living fossils, a fish species older than dinosaurs. While they may be the oldest surviving animal species in North America, they need some help surviving mankind. Historic harvest for meat and caviar has pressured populations, but the greatest threat to paddlefish has been how humans have altered their habitat. Paddlefish were originally in the Big Cypress system. Once Lake of the Pines was put in in the late 50s and the, and the dam at Lake of the Pines really changed the river's natural flow due to the changes in the water flow loss of flood pulses throughout the year to cue spawning events, loss of suitable spawning habitat over the years, populations declined. So we get to that point where paddlefish just don't exist here anymore. Downstream, the loss of seasonal flows impacted not only a threatened fish, but an entire ecosystem. After the dam, the flows of water almost ceased and we didn't have those natural variations we realized that a main problem for Caddo Lake was the quantity of water. So Caddo Lake Institute worked together with the Corps of Engineers and with Parks and Wildlife and many other partners over the years to try and recreate what natural flows would look like. The paddlefish were the perfect poster child to explain and test out our theory that more natural flows would help the forest as well as all these fish and other animals help restore the habitat. Got it. We've been reintroducing paddlefish since uh, about 2014. Healthy fish. Uh, we started off with the, about 50 fish that we radio tagged and put inside the Big Cypress and Caddo Lake. And we followed those around for about a year while their battery and the tags worked. One of the things we really wanted to find out is if the fish would stay in the system or whether they'd go over the dam at the downstream end of Caddo Lake. Well, after that year, the paddlefish stayed in the system. So we've moved on over the last few years, continuing to stock paddlefish. We're stocking fish over the next 10 years to try and build the numbers of paddlefish in the Big Cypress Caddo Lake system. Now that we're four years down the road and we've seen fish survive and grow to some larger sizes, the next big question is just, will they spawn, reproduce, and help their own numbers grow? To answer that question, a crew must recapture some older fish to implant new transmitters. Today, we're gonna to be electrofishing right below the spillway of Lake of the Pines Dam because that's where they like to congregate. They are attracted to flow to go upstream. They can't go any further, so we can actually find quite a few of them here. To capture these paddlefish, we're gonna use our electrofishing equipment. The fish get stunned by the electricity, and we're able to net them onto the boat. Come on. It's like a grab bag. You really never know what you're going to get, so it's Christmas every time a fish pops up. The fish are not harmed, but not stunned for long, so crews must stay alert. They come up from this murky bottom, so you could see nothing for a solid minute, and then all of a sudden, just this wave and rush of fish species come up. Large mouth. Open! Big one. <laughs> Whoa! Nope, nope. Paddlefish. We want paddlefish. Come on, fish. Things go wrong oh, every once in a while, and so it's great to have that other person to just reach over. Yeah. You're coming back in the boat, buddy. It's slippery on the boat sometimes. We have not lost anybody today. We're going to keep it that way. Oh. Give me another shot. I'll get you, I swear. Oh! Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. And I'm glad that we're taking part in the restoration program to bring them back. 
It's really cool. Whew. When the crew that's electrofishing catches the fish, they'll bring them up to the surgical unit that we're going to have set up. We're going to cut them open, implant a sonic tag inside of their abdomen, and sew them back up, and then release them back into the river. This is MS-222. It's an anesthetic for fish. It should knock them out in about 30 seconds or so. These new tags can last anywhere from seven to 10 years. So we're gonna start getting some really good information on some much older fish. It's 47 inches. Probably got stocked in about 2016. Take the tag and place it inside the body cavity of the fish. Now we're just gonna sew them up. The paddlefish doesn't start reproducing until they're six to 10 years old. But we're just now starting to be able to test that. Let's put them in the recovery bin. We'll release them back out into the river. Yeah. Surgery went well, about as fast as I can do it. So these are just sutures that will eventually just dissolve. We'll be able to really track what they're hopefully using for spawning areas. And we're gonna start looking for eggs. We're gonna start looking for little larval fish. So if they're in there, we're gonna know for sure. So I'll trade with you guys. You got one? Yeah. Let's trade and you can take them farther away and release them. It's been really satisfying to, to stock small fish that haven't been here for probably years and find paddlefish that have grown to over three feet in length. Because the ultimate goal is to get enough paddlefish in the system with the right environmental conditions where they're gonna be able to spawn and be a self-sustaining population. Woo! I am optimistic about the chances for the paddlefish. The paddlefish is so charismatic that actually more and more people wanna get involved with it. I mean, here's this prehistoric creature that's right in our backyards. I love these fish. These fish are fantastic. They haven't evolved much from the time of the dinosaurs, and they still exist. And they're just cool. They're just absolutely fascinating. It's brought a lot of groups together. We're grateful that so many different layers, federal, state, and local, have come together to make this possible. Some might ask if one old fish, off limits to Texas anglers, could be worth all of this effort. Oh my God. But restoring this fish only happens by restoring a more natural ecosystem. The work that we're doing for paddlefish doesn't just benefit the paddlefish. It benefits the river ecology and probably more than 30 different species of fish that live in the river. Uh, it's still early, but the optimism is there. They are an excellent indicator of what's going on here. If we're able to keep a population in here because we've changed the flows to a more natural state, we're taking a huge step in how we manage reservoirs and our flows coming out of those reservoirs for our natural resources. All good. Exactly what we want to see. Fade to black. <laughs>